Hi, everybody, and welcome to Z Code Sports System. Here we have created automated systems to help you win big, and not only win big, but win big consistently every single time. So this week we're going to be talking about the NCAA tournament, March Madness. It's the biggest time of year for college basketball fans, and now it's also one of the be biggest betting times of the year as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a few of the matchups here in the opening round games, and then I'm going to discuss a little bit more about the overall picture as far as the tournament goes with a great simulator that we have. So I'm going to just show you a few of these games here. So if you look here at some of the opening round games, plenty here to choose from. Iowa at Cincinnati, Oklahoma at Mississippi, Northern Kentucky, and so on and so forth. There's a lot of different games here. Uh, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna touch any of the top seeds because generally the first two seeds, although it has happened, you know, just recently, a number two seed can knock off a number, I mean, the number 15 seed can knock off a number two seed. Doesn't happen often. So I'm not gonna really go over those games. But first I wanted to mention the top seeds in each uh, regional. In the East, we got Duke, Michigan State, LSU, Virginia Tech. In the West, we have Gonzaga, Michigan, Texas Tech, Florida State. In the South, Virginia, Tennessee, Purdue and Kansas State and in the Midwest, North Carolina, Kentucky, Houston, and Kansas. So let's take a look at some of these games here. Like I had mentioned, I'm gonna go down through here and pick a couple of them out. And what to look at, here's one, Georgia State against Houston. Okay, so now this one here, Georgia State is burning hot. You see here they are burning hot. Houston is average. If you take a look at what they've done recently, you an idea of what their current trend is you see Georgia State has won five of their last six games and Houston has won four of their last six games Houston comes in as the, as the number three seed and Georgia State as the number 14 seed in the tournament if you look at the oscillator here this is here we go the Z code NCAA basketball team oscillator you see what's happening here Houston burning hot Georgia State, burning hot. But you notice the difference between the two teams. Houston has at plus 9.46 points, and Georgia State is at plus 5.22 points. So although they are both burning hot, you, you can see Houston has a much higher point rating there. They are the better team. Um, they will come out and win this game. I don't think that Georgia State really has much of a chance at the upset in this one in the 14 versus 3 matchup. So let's go down here at another game here. There's plenty to choose from. Okay, so that's all from that day. So there's see, there's two different days for first round games, and not every game is listed on here. So there are plenty of games listed here. So that was for uh, March 22nd. Actually, that's for the second day of games, first round games. Let's look at some of the games from the first day, March 21st. And we scroll down through here, Iowa, Cincinnati, Minnesota, Louisville. Minnesota, Louisville is a good matchup here. Here's a number seven seed. Uh, Louisville and number 10 seed Minnesota. So if you look at what's happening lately between the teams, uh, Louisville is ice cold down, Minnesota is average. That's because if you look at what they've done recently, um, Louisville right here, they've only won two out of their last six games. They're not on a very good trend at all. Minnesota has played much better. They have won four out of their last six contests. Although they lost badly to Michigan in their last uh, game on the 16th, as you see here, 76 to 49. So take that into consideration when looking at this contest. If you look here at the oscillator, what we got here at the oscillator, you can see in Louisville is ice cold up. And you see here that uh, Minnesota is burning hot. And you also see that Minnesota has the edge in terms of total points, plus one compared to minus 0.49. Well, just a little while ago, if you go just you know days ago and you go weeks ago, you see that Louisville was much higher rated than uh, Minnesota. So in this one here, this would be a good time maybe to pick an upset. I think uh, Minnesota can come away with a win on this one. So if you're going to pick an upset, although it's going only going to be a slight upset, a number 10 against a number 7 seed, I think this is a good one to pick. Now let's go down here and just look at a uh, couple more here. There's a lot of games you can pick from. I just want to give you an idea of how to use this portion of the uh, of the uh, page here. Here's Vermont and Florida State. Both teams are burning hot. Well, Vermont burning hot, Florida State burning hot down. 
Florida State comes in as a number four seed. Vermont comes in as a number 13 seed. You see why they are the status they are. You look at Vermont, they've won their last six here. Florida State has won five of their last six. Take a look at the officer. It gives you a better idea of the overall strength of the team. You can see the Florida State has a much stronger team overall at plus 6.78 compared to Vermont at minus 1.43. And that's because of the conference that they play in. Florida State is a much in a much tougher conference. The ACC, you know, there's four teams in the top 20. You know, they're fourth in that conference, and they're still a very tough team overall. And Florida State will come away with the win in that one. So, those are the games you can look at here. You can look at some more here, but what I want to do now is I want to show you something that's going to be really good for some just pretty much betting for the whole tournament. You know how people like to fill out their brackets. I'm sure you're one of them. Well, you fill out your brackets and you can make your picks here. And this gives you different levels of upset. Like upset level, I'm going to pick average. You can pick either from low, average, or high. So the low upset level will pretty much pick all the fairs every time. I mean, there'll be a few here and there that they'll pick upsets, but mostly it'll be the fairs that'll be picked to win. And there are different models here, Z code. You can see some of the other models here. I'm going to pick the Z code because that's what we have here. That's our site here, the Z code model. So we're going to use that. So let's go down through here at some of these. And you can see here, I did the average. You can see some of the, all the picks here. They give the percentages on the side here with the predicted score and predicted likelihood of win. You can see that. Um, going down through here, there's actually quite a bit of an upset here. If you look at Wofford, they are the number seven seed. If you look at this here with the average, they have quite a few upsets here. The final four, that's what I'm looking at here more carefully. The final four teams in that Cincinnati, number seven seed. going very far using this system here and but Wofford is picked to win it all using this average um, upset level you can see all the teams here again I can't go through every team here there's a lot to look at here you can see here Duke predicted to go pretty far but then being upset by Temple and Temple if you look down here at the bottom Temple is one of the teams only at the bottom that but well, it's not shown on here but they have to win they had to play in to win the game to get into the tournament here as this seed here. And you can see them beating Maryland and then beating LSU. LSU is a number three seed. You can see that they're they're upsetting some teams along the way. You can also see down here um, Cincinnati upsetting Tennessee. So there's quite a few upsets here in this one. And that's, what, that's what's going on here. As you can see, this is for average upset level. So let's take a look at another one here. Um, Take a look at low upset, and we hit simulate again. But for others, as well. Oh, okay, here it is for the low upset level. So it came up, and you can see for low upset level, they're picking Buffalo to win the whole thing. So it's, again, there's some upsets in here because the Duke is the number one seed, and you see here that they have Duke going as far as the Final Four, but then losing to Buffalo. Okay, and then Buffalo winning overall against um, Wofford. Now again, Wofford a number seven seed. So you see, even on the low level, you see quite a bit of uh, lower ranked teams getting into the Final Four. You have Virginia and Duke as number one making the Final Four, but also, also Wofford at number six and Buffalo, or, excuse me, Wofford at number seven, and Buffalo at number six seed making the Final Four with Buffalo winning it all. So there's another thing. Don't always just pick the top seeds every single time to make it the Final Four. A lot of people will just do that. Oh, they'll go one, 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 or pick all the twos, or pick the ones and twos. Most of the times, that is not the case is what's going to happen in the tournament. So here's a, this is a good tool to use to help you make your predictions. As again, you can see that for each round, it shows predicted score, percent, percent likelihood. So you can use this along with what we just used back here at the VIP picks section to help you pick all your games for every single round. Could try one more. Let's just see if this comes up here with the upset level of high. We did low and average, so upset level of high. It'll be interesting to see who's actually picked to win this on the high level. We're waiting for it to come up here and see if they get predictions. So we are waiting. So while we are waiting, again, you can see how there it is. So here is prediction for high upset level. So for high, see, they're picking the Temple Owls to win it all. Temple 
a number 11 seed. So for them to win it all, you know, huge upsets along the way. And the final four using this one is Temple and uh, let's see, we've got Gonzaga. Well, they're a number one seed, so they're not really an upset right there. Wofford, number seven, but the upset would be Temple 11 beating a number one. You know, and they haven't beating a couple number ones. They haven't beating Duke. Right here, and then they have not beating uh, Gonzaga, so you can see their upset specials here, and then Cincinnati would be a Final Four in this model. Okay, so there you have it. Just depends on what level of upset you want. So take a look at this. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I hope it helps you with your bets. I enjoy the NCAA tournament. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope to see you next week.